This is a tour of Golfland in Sunnyvale, California, and this is also known as the Mark Rober Arcade, where Mark Rober came and cheated on that basketball machine over there with his own basketball. So if you guys have not seen Mark Rober's video, I highly recommend going to watch it because this is the same location. So we're going to take a look at all the games that they have. First, they have four of the Maximum Tune 5 racing games. They have two Mario Karts. Over here is the Space Invaders Frenzy. And I believe the jackpot is 500, so it is 500. That is not bad at all. Over here is the Tekken Unlimited Tag Tournament. I don't think I've seen this before. It looks pretty cool. Over here is a Mega Touch. These are very, very awesome. It looks like they have one game or a few games. I'm not sure. Let's see. Well, they do have a few games. So overall, you, you can play a lot of games on this. And it is four points, so it's like 50 cents. So it's not that bad at all. And over here is the... Ticket Monster Wheel, also featured on Mark Rober's video. And over here is the famous Mark Rober basketball machine. It says Cowboy Pizza Company, but this is a Mark Rober basketball machine. It's definitely on Mark Rober mode. Here is a High Tops basketball machine. This is so rare, it's unbelievable. It's shaped like a shoe, and they have it here. I have never seen this, this is so rare. This is unbelievable. And over here is the legit Mark Rober mode basketball. This is the exact same basketball that he used in his video. If you guys do not believe me, this is the same exact location. And this basketball is on Mark Rober mode. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was pretty funny. Anyways, there are a few more games. So here's a Down the Clown 500. Pretty good. Here's two of the older ice balls. Over here is a Big Bass Wheel Pro. Over here is Iceman. Very interesting game. And here is the kiosk. So I'm going to show you guys the pricing. Most of the games are around six points per play. So here is the. It doesn't. It actually doesn't show the pricing, but it's like what a dollar a game, something like that. I don't even know, but it doesn't show it. But you guys believe it's like a dollar game. Over here is a vending machine, not an arcade game, but a vending machine. And here is Mr. Vacuum. This is a very interesting suction cup claw machine with some jawbreakers. And here is the Pac-Man Smash Air Hockey Table. Over here is Jurassic Park. Right here is Dead Storm Pirates Special Edition. Over here, there are two Winter X Games Snow Crosses. Here is a DDR, an original one, literally just an original. And they have fans on it too. That's pretty cool. And they have a, a pin pad. So if you guys are into DDR, then comment down below because I'm not really too familiar, but I know the fans would help if you are like a pro player. They don't have like anything to grip on your hands right here, but. Still very, very cool. Original DDR. I don't know how good it is, but pretty cool. And here is a Time Crisis 5 two-player. Over here is Treasure Quest Wheel. And right here is the Buzzy Buzzy Bee. Extremely rare where you catch the bumblebees, put them in the, in the honey pot. Very, very rare. I've seen Chuck E. Cheese have this, but still very, very awesome that they have that. Here is Bigfoot Crush. And here is two of the Star Wars Battle Pods. These are like just the sit-down ones, not the actual theater one. And over here is Basketball Pro. If you beat seven or 147, you win 7055. That's pretty good. And over here, there are some more games. So behind the Basketball Pro, there is a Winner's Cube. Some prizes in there. And here is Flying Tickets with a very nice 500 jackpot. If you beat 107, that's pretty easy. So that's not bad at all. And it's good about flying tickets and crossroads is you get the 500 plus your score. So if I get 110, let's say, you get 110 plus 500. So you get 610. Very, very awesome game. Here is Fruit Ninja FX. And right here is Doodle Jump Arcade. Here's a Monster Drop. Here's a Wheel of Fortune, the actual Wheel of Fortune. And over here, there is a Terminator Salvation. And right here is a Star Trek Pinball Machine and the pretty rare Lord of the Rings pinball machine. This is one of my favorite pinball machines of all time. Very, very fun. There's a lot of stuff to do. And overall, one of the best pinball machines that I have ever played. Very, very fun. Here is a claw machine animal house with some spiky balls. What's funny is that they organized the colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, or pink. I just thought that was really, really funny how they did that. And back here is a Slam Winner original. And here is a ticket ring with some ticket rings. And here is a ticket time with some smaller rings. This one's the RFID one too. Here is the all aboard slot machine game. Very interesting game. 
and right here is quick drop for 1,000. So that either means that the machine is very, very broken or that no one has won it. So I am unsure. I might have to play that later, but 1,000 tickets for quick drop. Here is the chocolate factory. And this is unique, it has a pusher. So I'm gonna activate it by pressing the joystick. So the pusher pushes the candy that you win from here. So you don't actually win the actual piece of candy from here. You win whatever is close on the edge, hopefully. It's like a chocolate coin pusher, candy coin pusher, very cool. Here is Injustice Arcade. And here is the Harper Lagoon. Right here is Jumpin' Jackpot. And here is a Keymaster with some hats and some cards in it. There are some coin pushers, so there's two of the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factories. There is a Avengers coin pusher. It is eight points, so it's like a dollar and fifty cents, I think, something like that. Obviously expected from these new coin pushers. And here is the SpongeBob Pineapple Arcade. Bonus is five thousand, but it doesn't look like there's too many cards. Still very good bonus though. And over here there is the deal or no deal standard and a fishbowl frenzy but take a look at this the jackpot is 50 and look at these values this is literally like chuck e cheese that's so funny here is a very cool mini claw machine i'm literally taller than it so like this is the top of the claw machine and hand for scale it's a very very awesome mini claw machine very cool here is a max's factory it's a lollipop game pretty interesting and here is a ticket time with some rubber ducks in it. So we're gonna take a look at the prize area. Here's the stuff in the case. So they have a scooter, they have some camera thing, uh, Monopoly SpongeBob, some more board games, air hockey table. They have some little stuff right here. So they sell the candy, pretty standard candy and some toys right there. They have fruit by the foot and gushers and they're only 60. That's actually really, really funny and very, very cool prize for that. They have gummy bears and fruit snacks for 50 and fruit roll-ups this is actually some really really cool arcade prizes they have some more candy right there some laffy taffies some high chews high chews are really really good they're only 20 tickets still some tootsie rolls they have a snickers mini there's some more toys right here some more toys down there that's pretty standard it looks like that's uh chocolate coins or i don't know i hope they're chocolate but it's either plastic or chocolate coin that's pretty cool over here there's more candy so Sour Punch, they're only 150, that's insane. Airheads Extremes, only 150, and all of these candies are also 150. I thought that was pretty good. Usually candy's way more than that. Nerds Ropes are only 175. High Chews are only 175, that's pretty good too. Over here, there are Squishmallow Keychains. There are Giants Lanyards. There's more Lanyards over there too, but I can't really show, there's a lot of them, 1125. It looks like a Hockey Puck for 1125. Some Angels Cups for 1350 another keychain another hat 2200 that's pretty good they have a trash get <laughs> trash get ball i don't even know what the heck that is trash get ball it looks like it's like you throw a basketball a trash ball or something for 725 that's really really funny they have lava lamps they have a football they have a bunch of decals and the decals are only 400 that's very very good these are like basically every single team from northern california that is very very awesome if you guys are a fan of these teams so more stuff right there. Some more stuff down here. There's another Squishmallow keychain. There's some knockoff Legos for only 175. I think that's a uh, good like stocking stuff for prize. They have king size Twix and Snickers for 400. That's super super good. Captain Marvel. They have the uh, sour punch up there. Like I said, some more random stuff down there. Here's the wall. So they have all the candy up there. They have a lot of it. I'm not kidding. There are so many of them. Gushers and everything. And these are very very good prizes too because. These are not cheap. Fruit gushers are not cheap to get at the store. That is very, very good. There's some poppets. There's some plush up there. There's Spider-Man plush for $13.25. Uh, Bun Buns for $6.75. Among Us plush for $2,400. Squishmallows. Some bear. They have Spider-Man basketballs. They have snakes. They're only $200. They have Mario plush. I don't know how much those are. They have a few other things. And here's those lanyards that I was talking about earlier. So... Some more landings right there and a few more things so overall this prize area is really really good surprisingly not a lot of stuff to choose from but the stuff that they have to choose from is extremely valuable and very very good for arcade prizes 
some of the most unique arcade prizes and useful arcade prizes that I have ever seen. So if you guys agree with me, comment down below. They have a very good candy and snack selection. Snacks are valuable, like those fruit gushers and fruit by the foots for 60. That's, that's just sells it right there. Very, very good prizes. Overall, I'm pretty impressed by this golf line in Sunnyvale, also known as the Mark Rober Arcade. So Mark Rober, you did a good job with your video. However, I highly recommend don't bring basketballs to this arcade because they'll probably kick you out. So thank you guys for watching this Golfland Arcade Tour. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the next one.